like whenever I say that, no one gets it. I know. I, <laughs> it, isn't that David Cross? That's David Cross when he's talking about being high on acid. He goes into the uh, the Seven Eleven or something. He's like, "Hello today." <laughs> <laughs> I say that at work to customers all the time, and they never fucking. Uh, yeah, everyone's a square. <laughs> so welcome uh welcome to this week's episode i think from now on we're just not going to bother numbering them in the uh you think we can remember this shit you're fucking wrong yeah i it's mean i could literally look at the list and just count it out but i'm not no dude fuck that <laughs> That's... numbers and shit numbers are dumb are you kidding me <laughs> hips don't lie numbers do i think it's like <laughs> eight or nine ten uh, it's up there. It's one of those numbers. We should actually pay attention to that because tens tens a lot. Yeah, let's uh let's do that from now on. We'll have the number next episode. Okay, we'll we'll sort we'll, this out. We'll we'll get with our accountant, sort this out. Welcome to Grave bro. Mistakes in Bro Cinema. <laughs> bro, bro, <laughs> bro, my bro. <laughs> It's a very special episode this week. Yeah, we're not doing, even not even a hint of a horror movie. We're doing uh, <laughs> one of my personal recent favorites, <laughs> the beautiful, beautiful film, Dude Bro Party Massacre Three. Three. There were no one and two. There, yeah. You Absolutely actually get a, gr- a brief rehash of one and two, which, to be honest, I would like to see one and two. Well, you did see one and two. I would like to actually see one and two. Well, you did. <laughs> you did. The beginning of the movie when they rehashed. I know, I know. I'd like to see that fleshed out. <laughs> you did. That All was the way. It. That that's, was it. That's what I'm saying. I just want a full movie. No, we. I mean, I'm down with a four or even like a seven. And they just do the same thing for everything in between. <laughs> like fucking that's 27 Jump Street. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. They don't need that shit. They don't. They pulled it off. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Stop being a bag of oranges, you fuck. <laughs> so, uh, it's... I'm gonna bop you on the nose. <laughs> bop me in the nose. <laughs> Solve Chico's vitamin C problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. I want to say this was like a student project. I don't know for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of famous people <laughs> There's like four. That's a lot for a student project. It's Patton Oswald, Larry King, Andrew WK, and that dude from Freaks and Geeks. Yeah. The one with the really rosy cheeks. Yeah. Uh, there are three directors. It's Tom Jacobson, mm-hmm. Michael Rousselet, and mm-hmm. John Salmon. Okay, that, that was uh, Turbo. Was it? Brock and... Uh, um, the lightning box guy. Uh, the one that I met? No. No. Oh, the other one. Yeah, yeah, that guy's last name was Giggly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Charlie actually met one of the guys from this. Yeah. I was down in LA, and he was just fucking standing outside of a, like, a Mexican restaurant while I was walking by. I was like, what the fuck? Because I have seen this movie three times now. Mm-hmm. And every single time, it's a fucking blast. It's pretty It's pretty enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. Dude with long hair. I'm not really sure what his name is. It's something jig- giggly. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Ben Jiggly. Ben, <laughs> ben get jiggly with it. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's the dude that I... I have a picture of him on my... with Like, me with him on my Instagram. Just because it's like... A fucking random guy from a <laughs> shitty ass horror movie. He was like stoked that I recognized him too. He oh, was, dude, I would be too. I was like, because he, he, I think he bummed a cigarette off, cigarette off of me, and I was like, Living yeah, that dude, high life. I was like, do you have you been on like on a movie or a TV show? And I was like thinking, there's no fucking way it's that guy. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm probably the only one in the state that knows this guy because I'm probably the only one in the state that's seen this movie. But <laughs> Uh, yeah, I asked him. He was like, "What the fuck, dude? Like, you <laughs> saw that?" And I was like, "Yeah, that man, was so I fucking loved it. It was badass." But uh, yeah, um, pretty good ratings overall. Yeah. I'm, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, eighty-eight percent. Fucking IMDb, six point three, solid as fuck. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, and uh, what's her fuck is in it too, playing the villain, Olivia Taylor Dudley, dude. Yes. And she's S- fine. She's super fine, everybody. She's stupid fine. She's in like, like a mask, but the, her rack is just always on display. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't understand how like films with this kind of budget get so many like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Patton Oswalt's in this movie. Yeah. For like the same amount of time that Jared Leto's in Blade Runner. <laughs> I feel like Patton Oswalt just like loves shit like this. So he probably like does it just for free. to help out. I don't know about free, but you know, a cracker. I, I heard I, <laughs> I heard Stephen King will be in like your student film if you ask him nice. <laughs> and he's got time. <laughs> just say please. Yeah, can you please be in my student version of it? You're gonna be in the uh, child sex scene. <laughs> Banging uh, kids on the bang bus. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> bang them in the. What bang, was it? Banging them in the bang bus. That's all he says. I think it's ba- banging them in the head, though. Oh yeah, banging them in the mind. Yeah, banging their mind. <laughs> banging their mind in the bang bus. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm pr- pretty sure because that's what we do here on Grave Mistakes in Cinema is we guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fuck the facts. Yeah, those podcasts that give you facts, nerds. Fucking nerds. Yeah. But uh, there was a Kickstarter for this film. I don't yeah. know if it was fully funded by that, but... Uh, There's a lot of backers. Yeah. The, in the credits for the film, like it lists all the, the backers on Kickstarter. And it's and a it's like, long, long list. It's like a 10-minute list, it looked like. So these dudes had some good support, and I believe that's why this movie came out so fucking great. Yeah. Loved it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, July of 2015. Okay, not that's very old. That's when it released. Yeah, it's uh, about... A little over two years old. Yeah. Newest movie we've done on here. Yeah. And I'm stoked. I'm ready to dive the fuck in. All right. Begin. Begin. So we start out <laughs> with fucking... <laughs> the therapy office. Yeah, with... what? Uh, it's not Brent. It's the that's, other that's Brock. Yeah, it's Which Brock. I, I thought she just said bro. I, yeah. I thought everyone they said Brock was just saying bro over and over and over again. <laughs> well, it, easy mistake. It's a very it's easy... two letters difference. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so in, in the th- the school therapist's office brock is just sitting there laying down his problems you know he's having a hard time <laughs> had to kill two people and all of his friends died yeah exactly mother face came killed her she came back apparently oh no no i think it was just if you it, i remember because one dude was like mother the serial killer then the second one's like mother face oh but, yeah 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 because it cut <laughs> it cut the face off yeah I love how, like, when she pulls the pencil out of the holder, too, it's like, <laughs> shwing. Dude, dude. It's fucking, it's just, like, small, subtle things like that that just make it. It's yeah. It's fucking hilarious. Plus that, that, that shwing sound effect just for, for other reasons always cracks me the fuck up. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Rewatch Spider-Man. Anything, anything sharp gets picked up. It's always that fucking sound, even if they have to do it 90 times in a row. <laughs> the blades in that universe are so sharp. You can just hear the atmosphere <laughs> slicing <laughs> with every movement. Scissors. Swing, swing, <laughs> swing, <laughs> swing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Gotta keep them sharp. <laughs> Gotta keep in them in the world sharp. of supers, it's the only way blades are even, like, useful at all. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, so he's in the the therapist's office telling uh, her all about his problems and the trials of mother face and mother and, <laughs> you know, she's dead, she's dead. And then she that's, fucking kills him. Yeah, that's when he's like, oh, but my identical twin brother I haven't talked to. And she's like, brother? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then she knows her job's not nearly close to complete. No. A lot of this movie doesn't make any sense. Like, why were the cops doing anything? <laughs> it doesn't need to I know. make sense. It's just funny. <laughs> this movie is better off not making sense. <laughs> it's honestly, just, it's all fucking falling apart, dude. <laughs> one of the heroes of the story turns out to be a bag of oranges. Yeah, and that solves the Chico orange crisis. <laughs> <laughs> it starts raining oranges. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the cops decided that was a thing that police officers have to take care of. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they, this movie is like mostly comedy but it's like a horror comedy i mean it's a hundred percent comedy it's a horror comedy though it's like it gory what, and fucking it's like 90 it's like a slasher percent film. comedy Shut the fuck up johnny <laughs> this movie's spooky it's october we're doing scary shit in october in october charlie becomes a giant pussy and comedy scare him i think that's a new tradition for the podcast every october we don't do scary movies that would actually be really funny yeah <laughs> next time we'll do meet the fuckers <laughs> All right. 
No, fuck no, please, God. Please, no, God, we're no. Little fuckers. Oh, God, that was a thing, too. Shit. Yeah. Dude, Robert De Niro apologized for that one. He should apologize for all of them. Meet the Parents was good. Yes. And then it's meet the fuckers, little fuckers. Just say fuckers. <laughs> meet the fuckers. Uh. <laughs> ben Stiller's fake Jewish family. Ben Stiller's Jewish. Yeah, but the family in there is fake. Barbara Streisand? No, no, no. Like, it's his fake Dustin family. Dustin Hoffman? His fake family. I don't <laughs> think Dustin Hoffman's Jewish, though. I don't know. I, have no I don't think he is. Hoffman? Hoffman. <laughs> Hoffman! <laughs> the Hoffman prophecies. <laughs> Was he in the Mothman prophecies? I that, don't think so. I, oh my god, that would blow my fucking mind. <laughs> that would be like the most clever pun I've ever thought of. Oh my isn't god! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Okay. Yeah, so, so, uh... So Brock dies. Brock is brutally murdered with a pair of scissors. <laughs> Swing. Yeah. <laughs> then it cuts to a raging party. It's fucking party time, baby. It's it's party time. It's Brent time. Slow motion slamming beer cups <laughs> together and shit. Oh, it's glorious. <laughs> it's a pretty good time. Yeah. Uh, pretty much, what are they? The beta, delta, I, beta, they're, they're they're something they're they're like delta by because the the middle one isn't like a greek letter because it's just like a fucking star yeah delta by do or die delta by do or die yeah i i don't know let's just call them the fraternity yeah the fraternity that was a movie too yeah. uh <laughs> so the fraternity um honestly all the characters just kind of introduced pretty haphazardly i know man like i honestly the only one i remember is todd because t-o-double-d yeah for short <laughs> shut the fuck up samantha yeah. <laughs> samantha get the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah um uh, i can't remember Brent, the next brock turbo turbo i already forgot i want to call him slater but the asian guy was not called slater it was like sizzler, sizzler there you yeah. go and then, uh, what's the dude with long hair? The guy I fucking met. What's his name in the movie? Sam, Samsey? Yeah, Samsey. Samsey. Yeah. Oh no, Robo <laughs> Samsey! <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> coming, I'm coming! <laughs> Holy shit. It's... <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Brock's twin brother that he conveniently has... Well, has uh, a mole on his face. Yeah, he has a mole on his face. Same That's exact you... actor. Yeah. Um... He comes back to, well, he comes to the fraternity to find out what happened to his twin brother and avenge his death. In doing this, he has to join the fraternity. And then he meets his new best friend. Which is dude in wheelchair. Nerdry. Oh, yeah, Nedry. They call him Nerdry, too. <laughs> yeah, I think they are, like, accidentally doing that. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, it but doesn't matter. He's only in the movie for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. He really is, dude. Yeah, I he, love he. what he comes <laughs> <laughs> It's so over the top. <laughs> it's the best. Oh, we'll get guest to that. Star, I was going to say guest starring Ronald Reagan, too. Oh, I know. He's everywhere Oh, the fuck it. What, what, what was that old person term from? The Gipper? I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> the movie takes place in the 80s when Reagan's president. <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're all about that life. Yeah, they're all about that Reagan painting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're introduced to, ye, I mean, we could just call him like Sam C's like the long haired stoner bro. Yeah. Then there's the calm guy. What, what does he even say? He's like, I'm the nicest guy here. And they're like, shut the fuck up. He's like, good comeback, man. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea what that guy's name is. Yeah, Absolutely no idea. No idea. He speaks a bunch of French, and it doesn't amount to shit. Yeah, and all the subtitles are uh, some dude in a basement Subtitle. screaming for hope. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they apparently the guy typing the subtitles is trapped in a basement, and in the film, it's hard to explain. Yeah, it's a joke you have to see to believe. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> the subtitles are not what the guy is saying at all. No nowhere close yeah uh, but yeah you're introduced to all the bros um brent needs to get initiated into the dude bro party fraternity <laughs> so he has to rip up his stuffed animal gift he gave brock when they were 16 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and 
that unlocks friendship. It does. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, ever everything's very superfluous. Anyway, they go do a prank, and then it's great because they make the guy in a wheelchair play Edward Forty, <laughs> and that kept cracking me up. The, fr it, the fraternity has a long history of terrible, fucked up pranks that kill that hundreds or thousands. <laughs> yeah, one year they blew up the dam and drowned four thousand people, Dr destroyed an entire town. <laughs> yeah, another year. We don't even know what happened. There's just gunshots and screaming. Well, no, they, they straight up say they took over, like, the fucking, like, Costa Rica or something. Like, they took over an embassy. Really? Yeah, that's what Andrew W.K. says. Oh, yeah. Like, part of me died in that embassy. That <laughs> yeah, day. and he's just like, anyway, I'm back from the dead. Uh, and then uh, the current one is they, they dropped a plane into an orphanage and killed 250 people. I think his name was Derek. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. Usually a Derek in one of these. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so air traffic controlling, right? Yeah. They're supposed to be going to the radio station to pull the prank. <laughs> and they just, because they're playing Edward 40 hands, they're just drunk they're as shit. Sh fucking shit-faced. <laughs> so they go to the airport and uh, crash a plane. Which is conveniently right next to the radio station they were supposed to be at. Yes. So then they end up uh, suspended because... Uh, the dean that they were playing the prank on wants to fuck him. But yeah, she was pissed that they wouldn't invite her to the... Which is weird, because then immediately afterwards, she got the phone call so that she could say that she sent them off to die, so... Yeah. <laughs> and then she gets killed. Yeah. The end. <laughs> yeah, she was like... What'd she say? She was like... You could, you could invite a, a young, nubile, recently divorced woman. And they're like, yeah. no girls allowed. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no girls allowed. Ew. <laughs> Pussies are gross. Dude, it's the best. I love these dude bros. <laughs> I, li I like how the dude bros have like, they're the opposite. Like they, all they do is just drink beer, but they don't want to have sex. <laughs> I know, dude, especially T-O-double-D. <laughs> T-O-double-D. <laughs> He's got a real hard time with that. <laughs> uh, she just wants to take my virginity. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> it doesn't really ever say why. It kind of like insinuates you might be gay or something. Yeah, it kind of insinuates that all of them might be gay. Yeah. I mean, at the end, they all pretty much go up. Uh, yeah. Brent's ass. Yeah. Human centipede style. What? Not human centipede <laughs> Not style. Not at all. You're They're getting ahead of yourself talking about specters. the endings. <laughs> They're specters, bro. They're spooky phantasms yeah. coming to possess that man's tight ass. That's when the movie gets really scary. <laughs> it's near the end. <laughs> Butt stuff terrifies Charles. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, on meeting T O double D, they're in there. And this is the one you also meet uh, Cindy, right? Sa Samantha. Samantha. Yeah. Yeah. Because they asked what her name is. She's like, Samantha, Samantha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she's bringing in a plate of brownies. <laughs> but but she's holding a knife, too, and they turn around and see the knife. <laughs> they, like, double fist with two beers. <laughs> like, the brownies out of her hand. Just, like, <laughs> with beers. And the brownies go flying everywhere and shit. And then that's when uh, good old Brent helps her pick him up. And he's like, I know what it feels like feeling like you don't belong. And then they're like, Brent, come on. And he's like, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. coming. <laughs> and, like runs up the stairs all quick just blows her the fuck off everyone blows her the fuck off yeah samantha is the character who has who wishes she was a dude because she wants to be a part of the fraternity yeah and her dad left or some shit yeah and so there's surprisingly a lot of backstory in this fucking film there's a like lot of backstory that so just casually. doesn't matter i know <laughs> it's fucking turns out andrew wk just goes up on a roof and is just up there for the entire movie this is definitely one of the weirdest films we're probably ever gonna watch probably on this podcast because it's just i mean it's just fun it's just fun it's good fun that's what it is <laughs> So, I mean, it was my pick this week, so I kind of uh, went off course into more of a comedy. But Don't you know, worry, I'm going to just pick Evil Ed next week. <clears throat> That's not scary. Neither was this. <laughs> it's okay, October, baby. so we're not doing horror movies for <laughs> October. Damn. Yeah. Well, it's got to be, like, somewhat spook. It is. Yeah. Evil yeah. Ed. Evil Ed's sick. Evil Ed's sick. Apparently, we'll watch that. Yeah, I, I swear to God we did. I remember not a second. You... But we were smoking a lot of weed back then. Yeah. 
Um, Still are, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. This podcast is about alcohol. Not nah, about the weed. <laughs> so yeah, they, they they go on a road trip. And uh, that's when we find out all their fears. To go to the lake house. Lake house. Yes. In the middle of the street. Lake house. And that's when they're introduced to the the paddle boat guy. Oh, <laughs> Who's just great. Paddy boat? <laughs> Patty, Patty's pa- Patty Paddleson. Patty's Patty Boats. <laughs> he, uh... <laughs> He's just grieving for his family. He's like, oh, boy, it's, it's, the, it's a fraternity who killed my family, but my business is doing good. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah, makes the fraternity, p- like, fucking, like, ruined his life but <laughs> saved his business. <laughs> so he's, like, totally, like, tormented in between. Like, he wants to kill him. You can tell, but at the same time, his business is thriving because of them. So he just blows his own head off. Yeah, he makes them take pictures with the uh, with the gravestones. He's like, "Let's take a goofy one. Be goofy." <laughs> I said, "Be goofy." <laughs> oh god! Uh, yeah, They're like, Brent's all, just, like freaked out. Like Brent's just like his, humping the gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that that was really goofy. That was my son, <laughs> six months old, and the water took him away. <laughs> yeah, really, really. Uh, she died doing what she loved. Drown- drowning? <laughs> <laughs> that part always cracked me up. <laughs> she died doing what she loved. Drowning. drowning. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he. Can he you go- imagine loving to drown. I'm sure there's someone who gets off on it. Yeah. I bet there, there's some sort of form of like auto erotic asphyxiation. Yeah, you probably waterboard yourself because it's yeah. dry drowning. Yeah. God, what? Go to a waterboard and jerk, sesh. Dry drowning, wet coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope so, shit. Yeah. <laughs> that would suck if it was dry, too. <laughs> Mum- <laughs> Mummies, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Emo tap. Emo tap. Emo- <laughs> 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 So yeah, he's he's out paddling the the paddle boat guy. He gives them all paddle boats, but he has no handicap one. So that's the last time we see the wheelchair guy. <laughs> yeah, he has to go around the lake, <laughs> twenty miles, twenty so, miles around the lake. That's pretty much the last you see of him. <laughs> so then uh, the guy's paddling, and the killer is about to kill him with a bow and arrow, and he's just like, "Oh boy!" And blows his brains out. And she's like, "Huh?" He's so happy, like whistling and shit. <laughs> and he just whips it out and does it. I- <laughs> It was very, uh, it's probably one of the most disturbing parts of the movie. <laughs> uh, so the, uh, the bros make it to the old sorority house. It's haunted. And they proceed to clean it's that haunt- shithole up. It's haunted? They say it. They're like, that place is fucking haunted when they have to go there. <laughs> That's I when they know. meet. I don't think anything spooky even happened there. No, nothing did. That's where they meet Andrew WK, though. That's like the spookiest thing. He just shows up. Knowing when there's about to be a party, party, party. When yeah. it's time to party, he will always party hard. Uh. He literally showed up just to start the montage. Yeah. The cleaning montage. Yeah, and then when they were done, he started by flipping over that wicked-ass cassette. The party montage. Yeah. One side, work hard. The other side, party hard. So fucking cool. I'm surprised he didn't, like, they didn't put one of his songs on there. You know what I mean? Like, fucking party hard. God, yeah. <laughs> that probably would cost too much money, though. Yeah. And it would kind of, like... It doesn't really fit the vibe. No. You know? It's like all 80s and shit. Yeah. It takes place in, what, 85? Yeah. 86? 80, 80, 85. Yeah. Yeah, because the song that's playing up there is just like, No one's gonna die today. No one's gonna die ever again. That was on the part on the bus getting there. Yeah. Yeah. That shit had me dying. <laughs> no one's ever gonna die again. <laughs> <laughs> Foreshadow. Foreshadow. Everyone died. Anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, once they're up there, the murdering starts. Mm, the murdering commences. Yeah, the fuses go out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Derek's got to go because he has handyman experience. From they're fuses. F- that's what they are. They're old. <laughs> they're fuses. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fuses. <God>. That's all. <laughs> they're... <sighs> A the lot. dialogue is so trippy. In this you just have sometimes. to see this movie, to be honest. Yeah. I, I didn't realize how hard it would be to talk about this movie afterwards. Yeah. Because it's like almost like it's nonstop. There's yeah. like punchlines nonstop. There's like weird shit that happens fucking consistently. And like to try to 
and a lot of it's sight talk. humor. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, there's just scenes of like them like looking and like dragging on looks way too long. <laughs> yeah. They really do. Um, but <laughs> to continue with that, um, so yeah, the fuses go out and <laughs> fucking Derek. Fucking fuses. Derek goes out to to fix the fuses, and right when he steps outside, his his, his sweater shirt gets, gets ripped. His so he has a crop on something, and he twirls, and he's like, "Oh no!" <laughs> and then he's stuck going out in a crop top, uh, which is a shame, because uh, that was like one of his favorite sweaters. Apparently, yeah, he was very upset about that. So he goes out to the shed where it's all spooky and dark. Oh, what? Sorry, I had to get more water. Mm -hmm. So rough. Uh, one of my favorite parts is when it's <laughs> right before he goes out there. When he's like, go out there. You got handyman experience. He's like, I don't want to talk about it. He's like, you never told me that. If you <laughs> told me that, I wouldn't have asked you to do that. I'm sorry. Well, oh, that was to Derek. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turbo, the one time he like actually like chills out for a second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's just like, I would have, I would have, I would have said, I'm sorry. Yeah. He says it all weird, dude. Yeah. He's like, if you would have told me that earlier, I would never have said that to you just now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fucking trippy. Lit. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Derek's out in the, at the fuse box trying to fix that shit. He gets and, garden tooled. Oh, yeah. He gets hoed from behind. Yeah, he gets pushed into it. It dies. But the power comes back on. Yeah. How does his head fix the fuse? Like. Is his, Dude, his head connecting the grounds or something? I Yeah, I mean, we do conduct electricity, so there's science there. But it, his head just got stuck in there? Yeah. Huh. Makes sense. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. It's Dude 80s, bro. you know? <laughs> Shit like that happened all the time. Dude, Dude bro sense. Dude bro logic. I fucks with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah. He dead. And then, um... <clears throat> Oh, yeah, then the cops are going out there because they're going to sacrifice the virgin cop who wants to bang kids. <laughs> yeah, the fucking... That guy. Yeah, if they go Isn't out... Isn't his he, name, like, Road Doggy or something like that? I don't... His name... I swear his name's, like, Swifty or something. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's going out there with a promise that if he bops the dude bros on the nose... Well, Pat turn... Oswald assigned him to do that. Yeah. Yeah. By bopping him on the nose to turn him into oranges. Yeah, because... On the police side, their story for this mo entire movie is they're trying to solve the fucking Chico orange shortage. Yeah, but they also want to kill the dude bros, so they need to sacrifice the virgin cop to Motherface so she can become powerful enough to kill the dude bros. Right, so they convince this asshole that if he goes out there and bops the dude bros on the nose, they'll turn back into bags of oranges and the orange crisis will cease. And all will be well. Yeah. Also, he's really high on cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> he's just doing coke on his desk. He's, I'm fucking, I'm an immortal fuck machine. <laughs> Which is hilarious because he's a virgin. Yeah. In the background, he's just screaming, <laughs> fuck my face. <laughs> Dude, that part's awesome. Uh, wild. <laughs> fuck, man. I wish I could remember his name. It's like Swifty. Shifty. Slifty. Slippy? Slippy. Slippy toad. He's slippy toad, everybody. <laughs> I'm good with it. Yeah. So yeah, that that's really it. They run over. Uh, they run over some dude. They get stuck for the night. He falls asleep with his eyes open. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really like all the cop story for this part of the movie. Well, he goes into that whole story where he's talking about banging kids and. Yeah, he uh, wants to bang uh, kids shit. in the brain. He wants to open up a mobile library, a bang bus, if you will. Yeah, that's his dream. To you have the bang bus. The mobile bang bus. <laughs> The female cop tries to convince him to call it the bookmobile. Bookmobile. And he's like, no, that sounds boring. Yeah, that really sounds like a place I'd want to get banged <laughs> as a child. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so th that is pretty much it for the cops. Like, that's yeah. essentially... Yeah. They're, they're, I mean, they kill a guy on the way. Yeah, and then that's it. Like, the car... <laughs> Their car breaks down. You better read that fucking book. <laughs> yeah, they, they see a guy fucking like slapping a child on the side of the road. So he, so virgin cop gets out of the car, cartwheel kicks him in the face, hands him a book, and tells him to go f hide in a tree. And yeah. when you get up there, you better read that fucking book. And that's when he's talking about banging kids. Yeah, that's when his dream is unveiled to yeah. female cop who does not give a shit. Yeah, because she's gonna kill him. Yeah. Or is she? We'll see. Yeah. 
as we continue into the depths of the dude bros. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, at this point, uh, beer bro runs out of beer and starts freaking out. Oh, he freaks the fuck out. So then they send uh, Sizzler and Camera Bro to go get beer. Yeah, but uh, Sizzler has to be in the beef box. Yeah, he wears a beef box. <laughs> Which is just a glory hole in a box, and they never really explain what beefing is. Yeah. Charlie you, thinks it's when you shit yourself. I think it's when you shit yourself. There's a glory hole, though, and you can't come out of the box until you beef. Yeah, but apparently but they were talking Turbo about, didn't even go in the box, and he beefed. Yeah, they were saying like some of the dudes beefed before they even got in the box. But some beefed multiple times in the box. Yeah. So what could it be? I don't, I don't think you could be shitting yourself, because if I shit myself once, I don't think I would just hang out in a cardboard box and shit myself a couple more times. You don't know that, bro. <laughs> you do not know that, bro. <laughs> just hanging out, waiting to shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's possible. It is possible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. At this I mean, it's not that, like, I wouldn't care that much about shitting my own pants. You know I would. I, mean? I wouldn't mind shitting someone else's pants. Pants are expensive. I get what you're saying. I appreciate what you're saying. Yeah. But at the same time, I'd rather shit my pants and not have to walk around in a box all day. I just wouldn't do it. Then you're never going to be in the frat, bro. I'd still be alive. A you're, you're a loser. <laughs> I'd still be alive. You're a fucking loser. <laughs> you're never going to be in the frat, bro. Whatever. Day of pie <laughs> until I die. <laughs> Cream pie until I die. <laughs> Dude. You know, <laughs> we all about that life. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What what bro? What bros get killed next? Um. Well, that's when Samantha shows up. Oh yeah, Samantha. It's Todd. T O double D. Yeah. Because Samantha shows up and they're arm wrestling. And they're like, I'm going to read your fucking journal if I beat you at arm wrestling. (laughs) He's like, my investigation. (laughs) He's like, like, I know what you're going to be writing in your journal next. It's going to be that uh, I'm in a barrel. (laughs) (laughs) I'm in a barrel. (laughs) Because if you you lose, you got to get in that barrel. And I'm going to read your journal. (laughs) And he's like, no. (laughs) My investigation. Yeah. (laughs) So uh, while they're arm wrestling, fucking arm crawls up on the window. Followed by a six pack of beer. During the arm, they're like, oh my God. Then the beer, and they're like, yeah. And then Samantha pops her face up, and they're just all like, and oh, immediately fuck. you just hear someone from off camera just like, get the fuck out of here, Samantha. Yeah. <laughs> you know the rules, Todd. No girls allowed. During the bicep bro off. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, Todd was banished as well. So they get a tent from the shed, and they keep saying that tents in the shed. Yeah. So they go, and Samantha's about to suck Todd's dick. And then, again, it's implied that they're all pretty gay, because Todd's like, go ahead and keep talking about my bros. Yeah. He was, like, finally about to, like, let up and let her do it. And then he, he required that she talked about his bros a little more. But then she's like, oh, I found the tent, as he's, like, touching dead Derek. Yeah. Who's <laughs> just sitting right next to them. Dead Brock's alive, brother. Oh, my God. <laughs> that part's fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of Dead Brock's live brother Brent. Living brother Brent. <laughs> there we go. Living Dead brother Brock's Br- living <laughs> brother Brent. <laughs> that probably took a lot of takes to get right. Probably, dude. <laughs> Goddamn. So yeah, uh, they get the tent. They go set it up, and they're they're finally having sex. Yeah, they they they're fucking. Yeah, which is funny because Samantha turns into like a succubus first. Like, give me your seed. Yeah. And he's because well, he like couldn't keep it hard for like I don't know. Well, because she's talking about like getting fucked, and he's like, no, this isn't doing. It. And then she's talking about the bro. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting into it. Yeah. And then like immediately she's like, I can't wait to have your seed. He's like, nope, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> and then he gets stabbed in the back with a katana and finishes. Yeah. And then Samantha just immediately passes out. So I guess it was pretty good sex. Hmm. True, true. Yeah, he was impaled to climax. With a katana. Yeah. Pretty rad. Pretty typical. Yeah, so he was... And then after that... What was it? Uh, Was it Camcorder Guy? Camcorder Bro gets killed. He gets pulled apart. Yeah. Well, a tree slams on him, and then she lassos him and fucking rips him in half. Yeah. Well, Beef Bro's in the fucking box still. He gets out of the box. He beefs. He does beef. And they still don't say what that is. He just kind of like bursts out of the yeah, box. Yeah, because then he's like, I beefed. And they're like, no, you didn't. 
<laughs> well, when they're watching the video, because the dude with his camera, yeah, his, the whole thing was filmed. When they were watching, he was like, "See right there, that's when I beefed." <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, that's actually a little bit after, because that's when they go the next day swimming, and Samantha wakes up covered in blood. And they're like, oh, look, it's Cambro. He got over his fear of heights. And <laughs> they just, just, like, just, just, uh, there, just hanging on to, like, a zip line. Yeah. He's, like, holding on to, like, a rappel. He's, like, zip lining, just dousing with blood. And he falls, and it goes into, like, this weird underwater thing where he, like, falls down into a church. And all yeah, these dead bodies come flying. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, Come. I love the way that they use like those, like these tiny little action figures. <laughs> like this half action figure, like falls down because it's the dude ripped in half, and he like busts the roof in on a church, and then like all these, these other like, action figures, like these little Legos, come floating out of this church, and then the next thing you know, it cuts to them just in the lake screaming because there's corpses around. Them. Oh, this is the best. I fucking love that shit. That's uh, as they're running, Samantha's running because Teal Double D's dead, and then Turbo just Turbo Bro punches her in the face. They get back to the cabin. She shows up. Then uh, that's when Sam C throws a fucking bat at her and knocks her out. Is this before or after Turbo's talking about his baby dog dick? <laughs> this is right before. Okay, cool. Because then immediately after this, uh, they're threatening to be up Brent. And then they're like, what's your problem? And yeah. He's like, I got a dog dick. I got a hairy dick. Yeah. Like, that's his problem. He has a hairy dick and he doesn't like dogs because they remind him of his hairy dick. Well, it's only baby dogs. Oh, yeah. Only baby dogs because their baby dog hairy dicks reminds him of his hairy baby dick. <laughs> then he goes to get firewood and finds a handgun. And then a, he's like, oh, yes, one bullet. Cool. <laughs> yeah. And then a bunch of little hairy dogs show up and he's like, no, no. And they're all like licking him. He's like, oh, you're so small and hairy. And he blows his brains out. <laughs> that whole scene, though, like while they're jumping on, <laughs> it's like just flashing pictures of like real dog dicks. Yeah. And it's just him going over and over. Just I have a hairy dick. I got a hairy dick. I got a hairy dick. <laughs> Oh, God. Is it even possible to grow hair out of your dick? Yeah, you can grow hair out of your eyes. <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. It's a real fucking horrifying disease, dude. <laughs> dude, it's the scariest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life, man. What the fuck? Dude, look it up one day. It's fucking terrifying. You can grow hair out of your eyeballs? It's like out of cysts that form on your eyes, and then it bursts into, like, hair and shit. And spiders? No, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a spider egg. <laughs> oh, it was just a goddamn spider bit me in the eye. It's not that scary. <laughs> That's 80 times worse. <laughs> Those weren't hairs. They were just spider legs <laughs> sticking out of your eyeball. <laughs> That's why they move. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Turbo's dead. Turbo's dead. Who's left? Samsy's left. Sam's oh, the robot, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Brett early in the movie meets Samsy's robot, dances with it, and the accidentally breaks so his sick. neck. The robot's so bad. Dance with me. <laughs> but what about my brother? Dance with me. Dance with me. That's peculiar. I seem to recall you crying every night <laughs> <laughs> about missing your brother. Dance with me, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, because then Sam C runs off. He's like, Robo Sam C! Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> Robo Sam C. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Robo Sam C's dead. Regular Sam C, still alive. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, Brent's all freaking out because he's like, what the? F he thought he killed Sam Z. Yeah. So, <laughs> when he shows back up in the kitchen, he's like, what the fuck, dude? He's I like how at that part, Samsy stops being like a weirdo. Like it was, I think it's just supposed to be like, that was the robot being a weirdo to him the entire time. Well, no, he's still being a fucking weirdo. Remember? And then like something, something like very minor happens. And he's like, he's like, Oh, Oh, like this whole time. Like, I thought it was so strange that like this guy came in like, and he looks exactly like my, my best friend who died, but he's his brother, but it doesn't matter. 
And then he's like perfectly fine after yeah, that. Yeah, like it just took him like the entire movie to get over the fact that, that <laughs> yeah. he has an identical twin. Yeah, and then right when he does, he gets shot in the head with a fucking dart that mind controls him. Yeah, so he like beats the shit out of himself and then rips his fucking tongue out of his head and slaps himself over and over again with it. Then he shits himself. And then he shits himself and then he does the cool water slow piano. <laughs> <laughs> that the, the half man did. Ah. Uh. So yeah, now I don't know if that's a like a reference to something. I, I think it is. It's dude. really fucking funny. It's so funny, and it I don't, I don't be, even know why. It has to be a reference to something we've seen, and like we just can't remember what it is because it's so fucking funny. It reminds me of, like Bioshock or something. Like it reminds me of the trailer for some fucking stupid ass like movie too. Yeah. So who's left? Who is fucking left? Uh, at this point, it's He's Sizzler to die. Sizzler, Samantha, and Brent. That's it? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Oh, and version cop, female cop. I think that's it. Yeah, Andrew WK is on the roof still. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For the rest of the movie, Andrew WK is on the roof. And he's <laughs> someday just never spoken. My, someday my bros will come back for me. Yeah. He's never referenced again until the credits when it's shown that he's still on the roof. Yeah, and it's just a stupid joke because he climbs up on the roof and they take the ladder away and that's it. Yeah. Like he just never gets down from that like small awning. He just stays up there all night yeah. watching his bros get murdered. All right. So in order of operations, who's next? Sizzler. Sizzler is next. Yeah. Sizzler's starving. He's a vegetarian. That's why they won't let him in. The yeah. Beef bro is actually vegan bro. Yeah, exactly. He had to beef, but he was vegan, so that's why he had the hard time beefing. Yeah. He thought it was gross. But, so, he has, he has a veg stash in this uh, sorority house on the lake. Mm -hmm. And he goes upstairs, and he finds that it's been tampered with. There's veggies all over the ground. <laughs> and he goes in the bathroom following the trail of veggies on the ground. Turns out there's a fucking rabbit infiltrated his veg stash. <laughs> And then he gets disemboweled. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's in there talking to a rabbit, and then all of a sudden he turns around. Mother Face is there. She guts him and fucking flushes his intestines down the toilet. And he's like, no! And dead. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly how it went. It was very uh, anticlimactic. Yeah. Even oh wait, she like pulled his stomach out and like shoved it in his mouth. He's like, no, I can't eat that meat. I'm just my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's even funny because right after that, Brent's walking around with Samantha, and she's like, "Where's Sizzler?" And he's like, in his internal head's like, "Who the fuck is Sizzler? I want to concern her. I'm going to play it cool." It's like, yeah, we well, let's split up and look for him. Sizzler. That's Sizzler. That's what this movie has uh, ads. <laughs> And one of the ads is literally a dude driving. He's like, oh, no, I forgot my keys. And his car just exploded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God damn it. That's so funny. That bar is so fucking good. Oh, no, I forgot my keys. It was like a cereal commercial and like where they're just like sitting at the table. Eating oh, yeah. Cereal. They're like a tree. A giant fucking like tree arm breaks through the wall and it like has a box of more. Yeah, cereal. they're like screaming at it. Yeah. The fake commercials are, like, some of my favorite parts. Of oh, the yeah, they're so... I love fake commercials, dude. I think they're so fucking funny. Oh, it's the best. Because we used to do them, dude. Remember the ShamWow? Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, I fucking man. love fake commercials. That One, shit is still up on YouTube, too. It's, uh, Google John Kangro ShamWow. It probably won't pop up with that. Fuck. Yeah. How do you how do you find it on YouTube, Johnny? Uh, I don't think shit. it's on there anymore. Plug that shit from twelve years ago. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say plug that shit from <laughs> forever ago. I it think it was like twelve years ago. It wasn't man. twelve years ago. It was I think it was. It was eight. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Still, that's a long time. That is a very long time. That's a depressing long time ago yes yes it is moment of silence for our lost youth oh. well if you can find it do it it's fucking hilarious a lot of <laughs> studio magic went into that <laughs> i disappear a dog well dog was crushed <laughs> <laughs> i kill a dog <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh yeah this is uh brent is talking to samantha because he's like there's only two of us and she's like three and he's like <gasps> T O double D, and she's like, yeah. And there's like a picture of his face, and then uh, she gets killed. 
<laughs> yeah, she gets brutally killed too. Yeah, she like gets, the most violent death in the whole movie. Like she gets stabbed through the back, like from the back through the stomach, and then the fetus is on the end of the stick, which is impossibly large. <laughs> yeah, I know. She just like fucked like the day before, like yeah, that same day. She probably she wouldn't even know she's pregnant, but then again, she's like the devil, so who cares? Yeah, she's also trying to bang all of them, so it's probably yeah. someone else's baby. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Motherface, like, fucking rips that shit up and, like, splits her in half. It was pretty fucking ace. Yep. And then it just <laughs> cuts to Brett running away. Yeah. Sizzler! <laughs> Sizzler! Sizzler! I like how they're playing it backwards, yeah. too. Sizzler! Like, like, there's a scene of him just in darkness, screaming, like, yelling Sizzler, and then there's, like, another him <laughs> on the other side of the screen saying it in reverse. Sizzler! 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, so much of this movie didn't make any sense. Yeah, so much of this movie needs to be seen to be believed. I've okay, I've learned my fucking lesson. All right, I'm not doing any more <laughs> movies like this. No funny business. This is not a place for monkey business. <laughs> this is a place for funny business. <laughs> it's not. It's so, not. <laughs> we need uh, that good good on this podcast. The uh, real shit. The spooks. The spooks. Oh yeah. So then Brent runs across Turtleneck and uh, Flannel. And they're like, just chill with being dismembered. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, you guys like, don't even act like you were like excited to see us. You don't even know our names. And he's like, it's Turtleneck, bro. Flannel, bro. And he's like, good guess. You're lucky that we're named after the clothes we wear. And then they ask him to think of one good time they had. He just thinks of the one dude's dick flopping around. <laughs> and then he looks down. At every and wave of the dick, it's like a gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> Then he looks down and both of them are dead. They just got stabbed through the face with a spear. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, he gets donked on the head. That leaves uh, good old Brent to be the only one left, right? Yep. And then he got Brent... doinked on the head? Yeah. Because then he's like, I know who you are, Mr. President. And that's <laughs> yeah. that's when he makes a case that it... I like it because the whole time Motherface is like, no, that doesn't make any sense. And he's like, think about it. And he's like doing all his logic. He's like, God damn it. And it turns out it is Ronald Reagan, but it was actually just a dream. Yeah. It was not Ronald Reagan. That would have been such a f bullshit ending, dude. Oh, man. I would have turned the fucking movie off. That would I'd have be been like, so dumb. I would be like, that's too much, dude. Yeah. That's one step too far. Yeah. One Reagan too far. Yeah, it turns out he was just knocked out. That's not really what happened. Fucking turns out Motherface was actually the... Sister of the daughter of the original mother. Yeah. So Motherface's sister, who was Mother's daughter. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. So that. Uh, he's about to get murdered with an axe when all of a sudden, Nedry shows up. Master. Oh, oh, dude, my fucking <laughs> The elements. Baby. Hell yeah, dude. On his way. 20 miles around the lake, he has mastered all of the animals in the forest. <laughs> hey, he learned to swear. And that's yeah. the only thing Brad has to say. is like, you're cussing. You did it. You're, you're cussing it. Hey, he's like, motherfucking mother face. Yeah. And he's summoning a motherfucking fuck. bald eagle. Most majestic <laughs> animal in the whole fucking and forest. Guess what? It's going to fuck your face up. And then he takes a hatchet to the face immediately. and just dies mid sentence. God, it was so funny. Mother and then the wolf drags him with a hatchet to the face and he like finishes the sentence. Uh, uh, uh. And then the wolf drags him away to eat him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was like probably... Number one part of the film. That okay. part's so fucking that funny. That shit was badass. <laughs> I forgave the wolf for killing my family. <laughs> yeah. So uh, then, uh, yeah. Brent's in trouble. He sees uh, the forced ghost of Brock. Yes. And he's like, bro, you got to let your bros in, bro. Let us in your butt. Give let you powers butt, and bro. stuff. Yeah. So he does. They all fucking shoot up his asshole. Whoa. I think Brent's really the only one. Or I mean... Brock is the only one that shoots up his asshole. Yeah. The rest of them just kind of hang out normally. <laughs> they just kind of like absorb into him from behind. Yeah. They become but every fucking time he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's getting fucking rammed. <laughs> but yeah. He turns into a giant ripped fucking, you know, humongoloid. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, dude. He just, like even moves like the Hulk. Yeah. Just beats up uh, Motherface until she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> he just stomps. <laughs> he stomps the fuck out. Yeah, it is insane. And then uh, gorilla style. I'm pretty sure that's actually the last you see of Brett, because then the rest of it just focuses on the cop. 
Yeah, he was going to get a um, sacrifice because he's a virgin. Then female cop fucks him, so he's not a virgin anymore. And then after you see Motherface get killed, you cut back to the cop station. Patton Oswalt's <laughs> upset because the sacrifice didn't happen. The Dark Lord calls him, yeah. goes back. Patton Oswalt gets exploded. Yeah. That's when female cop lays down the bombshell. You can tell Johnny didn't like this one very much for the podcast because he's like just racing through the whole thing. Pretty much. And Plus, I, we're at 50 minutes. Yeah. That too. But we have I, a strict time limit now. Not strict, but goals. Yes. Yeah. But I do agree. Fucking movie, like doing movies like this is not great for what we no. do. No. <laughs> yeah. So. Learned my lesson on that one. I was gonna say all the comedies in the movie, it's hard. Yeah. The fuck it, exactly. If you're not looking at it, it's not gonna be good. Yeah. You need to you need to see. I'm coming. Yeah. You I'm need- coming. I'm Charlie coming. has been saying that for like two years. I have, dude. It's like one of my favorite parts. <laughs> but uh yeah, so female cop turns out to be the actual sack of oranges. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that part's fucking awesome. <laughs> Virgin cop bops her on the nose. And she just turns into an orange. I like it because there's two like Latina cops. Like, he's talking that fucking bag of oranges again. Yeah, and there's like flashbacks to them interacting with each other. Like when he lost his virginity, he's just laying there fucking a bag of oranges. <laughs> oh, God, it's so stupid. And then uh, it starts raining oranges. And, uh, and the orange crisis is solved. Yeah. And then uh, basically. Dude, bro party didn't it end with something stupid and fucking like completely random the oranges and then (laughs) i don't know i don't know let's just rate this bitch yeah so how do you want to do this uh comedy obviously yeah it's a fucking comedy yeah comedy uh Uh, i think it would be kind of pointless to put horror in there yes so I want to do a special one for this one. Let's okay. do Spooky Time October Fun. Okay. All right. All right. And then entertainment. Wouldn't that still be Spooky Time October Fun? Yeah, it would. So you pick the third one. Uh, gore effects. Okay. And this is going to be out of 10. Uh, of oranges? No. <laughs> <laughs> Harry baby dog dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Harry baby dog dicks. Yes. All right. That is the rating system for this episode. You go first. All right. Comedy. I'll give this guy an eight hairy baby dog dicks. Yes. It's pretty fucking funny, you guys. <laughs> Don't let us ruin it for you. It's pretty fucking funny. Don't let us ruin it for you. We're not experienced in doing these things for comedy movies. We make horror movies funny. We don't make funny movies funnier. No. <laughs> it's funny enough as it is. We we can't Add. just retell the jokes. I'm sorry. Yeah. It'd be better if we had one of the guys from the movie on here with us. Dude, we should have hit up fucking Ben Jiggly. That would have been that would have made his fucking day, I bet. He probably would have drove <laughs> down to here, dude. He's gonna be like, these guys are sacks of shit. Making it seem like it was nothing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Get over it, Ben Giggly. <laughs> oh, Ben. Uh, spooky, spooky time Halloween Mark. fun. Spooky time Halloween fun. Also an eight. Yeah. I wouldn't. I feel like watching this in October enhanced the pleasure. So watch this in October, even though it's probably going to show up in December. Wait until October. It to did. Watch. It did enhance the pleasure. Yeah. Double the pleasure. Double the fun. Double the do bro party massacre three fun. Well so said. Well said. <laughs> Harry baby dog dicks. And for gore, surprisingly. Like, gore? Yeah, gore effects. I thought we were doing... Is that what we agreed on? Yeah. I'm stupid. Keep going. What do you think I said? Core? Yeah. How hardcore? How hardcore? These are my friends. <laughs> I they have their backs. <laughs> they the are the closest thing to blood I, I have. Oh, is it like that? Yeah. That's so clunky. I know. Why would you put that That I have? Dude, ask Black My Heart. All right? Is that Black My Heart? Yes. God, they all sound the fucking same. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> It is what it Just is. Just talking shit all night. I. It's what I'm here for. It's how I was raised in that monastery of shit talking. All I, your cups smell like garlic. I was just about to say, all the cups smell like garlic. <laughs> I don't know it, why. It really makes the water taste funky. Yeah. Might be the garlic I put in yours. 
<laughs> Dude, everyone loves garlic water. <laughs> garlic water is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know why they're like this. I'll have to investigate that later. So uh, you're on gore. What was your surprisingly? Rating? I'd give it like a six. The gore effects are actually pretty fucking good. Yeah. Like for how little budget this movie had, the gore effects, just the effects in general, were pretty fucking solid. Like there was very little CG. Mm-hmm. It was all just green screens, honestly. Yeah. Everything else was practical. Because guess what, everybody, practical is cheaper. Do practical effects. And they look way better. They look way fucking better. The beginning when that dude's head explodes, they're more funner. They are more funner. No letters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the mares. Hold the- <laughs> No John Mayers. <laughs> All right. Your time to shine, cowboy. All right. So for comedy, I will give this film that this movie is like super. I don't know what the budget is, but it, God, it looks so low budget. I'm super stoked that a movie of this quality could be like so entertaining and enjoyable. Oh, yeah. Normally movies like this fucking blow. They fucking blow, dude. They just feel rushed and shitty. This one like actually like flows at least. Well, know? and it, you know I mean? they actually gave a shit. Most of the movies are just like a, like a nod in the wind. Like, hey, look how fucking quirky we are. Hey, we're so low budget. Fuck. Yeah, fucking Ben Jiggly Giggly. You fucking were supposed to send me a goddamn Blu-ray. You bitch. <laughs> I'm still expecting that shit in the mail. Anyways. <laughs> Comedy, I'll give it a, I'll give it a nine, dude. That shit was funny. Like, <laughs> you were, this is the you third were like time. crying the entire movie. The, the, this is the third time I've seen it, and like it's still just as funny. <laughs> the first time I watched it, I was like the whole I'll time I couldn't stop. Dude, the opening is so fucking funny. I couldn't still. stop. So yeah, comedy, I'll give it a nine. Halloween, spooky time, fun. I will give it a solid. I'll give it a nine as well. This is ideal for this month. Uh, like fun with the the children, with the toddlers, <laughs> Bang your kids with, with the kids. Yeah, De- I definitely want your kids watching Dude Bro Party Massacre Three. <laughs> I like how there's only titties in the beginning montage. Yeah, very little tit. So there's a lot in that fucking beginning part, dude. Definitely. I mean, the movie's rated G. Totally fine for your kids. Eighties G, baby. Um, yeah, definitely a nine. Spooky time, Halloween fun. It's a great time. And then for gore. I'll give it a solid seven because I mean it's low budget effects, but they're fucking they're, they're effective good. and they're great. They get the point across. You know, I truly believe they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we sh- would you want to do Cannibal Holocaust? I would totally be down to do Cannibal Holocaust. I just feel like that's like I don't know. Isn't it good? It's really good. I love that movie. I think that defeats the point of us doing bad movies if we do a good one. <laughs> you might hate it. Do you like seeing animals murdered? That's a loaded question. If I say yes, I'm a fucking crazy person. If I say no, you call me a pussy. <laughs> I wouldn't call you a pussy. I don't like this. Eh? For art, anything goes. Except for banging kids. Outside of their so mind. Serbian films out, of the, out the door. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Uh, Hold on, this is after the podcast. We should watch that, like, Crazy Mermaid horror movie. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Um, (laughs) What made you think of that? Serbian film, because it's Polish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm down to do Cannibal Holocaust. If anyone's listening... We should have Justin come You guys should give us recommendations. Yeah, please give us recommendations. We'll totally do it. Just drop it on our Facebook or on our Instagram, anything. Yeah, we'll give you a shout-out. For sure. We won't give you a shout out. We won't. <laughs> I, I, I barely remember to hit record this time. We won't give you a fucking shout out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, we pinky promised we're not going to be doing any fucking comedies anymore. That shit was See, just... that's how Lep in the Hood was. It was a fucking comedy, not a horror movie. I know. I just really wanted to watch the, you to watch this movie, and you fucking wouldn't. It's been two years. I've been trying to get you to watch this fucking movie. The time this wasn't the spooky only, time October. You this have is the only this. way I could have gotten you to watch it is if I forced you to because it's my pick. <laughs> spooky time October. You should have done it. You bitch. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> I think this is the shortest episode we've done. Probably. Probably. Have we, did we even hit an hour? If we saw for 55 seconds, we have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything you want to plug or anything? Fucking. Um, I actually, uh, there was something I wanted to talk about too. Why don't you plug uh, McGreedy? McGreedy? Yeah. My band? 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I, I mean, my band did just put out our first EP. Uh, and don't forget, this shit's not gonna air for like weeks. So. Yeah. I'm. What, what do you think I'm gonna do? Like give them a time limited coupon that expired? <laughs> Here's a time limited coupon. It's redeemable by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, it's not gonna be brand new by the time people hear this. Yeah, well, it's it's the only release, so all that is gonna be brand new forever. <laughs> yeah. Until the next one. But yeah, uh, I mean, doesn't isn't in decline or this place? Well, this place has a release coming up too. Yeah, it's like you know, this 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 we, episode we, we could are be musicians. <laughs> yeah, this this episode could be perfect actually. Uh, by the time this airs, maybe. Our bass player will finish tracking his parts <laughs> so that we can finish the fucking EP that we've been working on for eight fucking months. This place is a zoo 2017 coming at you. What's that one called? Keep it posted. Um, I th the tentative title is Apathetic by Nature. That's cool. But uh, it's subject, subject to change. Okay. Well, we already have like all the album art done and everything. We're unfortunately still waiting on Joe. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, he'll get it done, you know. It just takes some time. Yeah. Life uh, 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 finds a way. Yeah, little boy's a perfectionist. Yeah. I respect it. But yeah, uh, check out Charlie's in the bands of This Place is Zoo and In Decline. This Place is Zoo, In Decline, 2017. McCready. Suck it, nerds. <laughs> McCready, 2017. Check out our EP, Outpost 31, on Bandcamp. Yeah. And YouTube. Yeah, and thanks again for listening, guys. Yeah, this is... John Kangro, Charles War, Grave Mistakes in Cinema. I'm coming!